Aye, Captain, Just Cheyenne answered, subdued. David, let's get started. Aye, sir, he said, but stopped short. Sorry, I forgot. By the time they had finished their preparations, making do the best they could despite not having much in the way of medicine or space, the rescue boats had returned. One man, a worn-out, frail individual with long white hair and beard, whom Joshine recognized as the one waving, wept openly. He watched as bodies were pulled carefully from the boat and laid out on the deck, where other crewmen would check for signs of life. Joshine bent down to one body, a middle-aged man from his looks, who was dressed in raggedy blue clothing and felt for a pulse. The body felt cold and stiff, though, and he sighed, looking at the old man with sympathy as all around him the crewmen were having similar luck and the body count far exceeded the original amount he had seen through the glass. But then, one man, Jane, got excited. Captain, he said, this one, I don't know how, but this kid still got life in him. He's alive, the old man asked, ceasing his weeping, and Joe Shine felt a hopeful smile across his face. The boy's alive. He's weak, real weak, Jane answered, but he's fighting. Doesn't have long, though, maybe a few days at best. It'll take a couple days to get home, Will, the first officer added. And even that's pushing it by the looks of him, the captain said, bending down to lay a hand gently across his forehead. How much time do you think he has, the old man asked. 